Hello, my name is Marcy Billen and I'm a real estate agent here in Norman, Oklahoma. If you haven't been on our channel before, I make videos about Oklahoma, where to live in Oklahoma, where to eat, where to shop, and of course, how to buy and sell a house. In this video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in Norman, Oklahoma. I've lived in Norman since 2007. I came here to go to the University of Oklahoma and I never left, but I'm actually from a small town in Northeastern Oklahoma called Claremore and it's closer to Tulsa. All right, let's jump right into these pros and cons. First off though, I have a bunch of other videos. Some about what it's like to live here, maybe the weather in Oklahoma, what it's like to live in Norman, downtown Norman, parks in Norman, everything. Go ahead and check those out. They're listed in the description below. All right, so the pros are first. First pro, University of Oklahoma. This is a university town. I would definitely say that the University of Oklahoma is a major plus to living in Norman. So why? Well, first of all, it's the biggest university in Oklahoma. The second business, the second biggest being in Stillwater, and that's OSU. And the university actually predates statehood. You can always catch some really good lectures if you're interested in that, and I am because I'm a big nerd. Of course, there's always football and game days, which is basically like a big party, if, especially if you're on that side of town. Um, it's not just the stadium, it definitely overflows to other par parts of town as well. And of course, walking around on campus is actually a, a huge activity that people do here um, on really nice days because the university is very, com it's kind of compact, everything is together, nothing's really spread out, and it's a really nice place to walk around. Norman also has a really good downtown. It's pretty laid back. And I've made quite a few videos about downtown Norman. You can find them here. Downtown is actually easily walkable from the University of Oklahoma campus. And we do have some amazing festivals that take place downtown as well. Plus we have some great restaurants and bars downtown. Norman does also have what a lot of people call a really good small town feel. Now the population in Norman is actually around 125,000 people. So really not that small for Oklahoma. Norman is actually the third largest city in Oklahoma. However, if you do live in Norman for any amount of time and get involved somewhere like maybe a church or the gym or even a club, it's really hard to go anywhere without knowing someone. And I think that's really why people say Norman has such a great small town feel. Norman is an, an excellent place, meaning that we can really easily get to Oklahoma City and of course other towns as well. But Oklahoma City is of course the biggest city in Oklahoma. And we're about uh, 20 miles from Oklahoma City, depending on where you wanna get in the city. And you'll probably notice that I keep saying city because everyone here calls Oklahoma City the city. So once you move here, you will figure that one out. A lot of people who live in Norman do work in Oklahoma City every day, so it's a very typical drive to make. And it's not just I-35 that connects us to Oklahoma City, you can also get there through other roads as well. All right, I often hear people describing Norman as family friendly. I would definitely agree with that. And I think the reason why people say that Norman is family friendly is because of course the school ratings here in Norman. And then we have great activities for families like water parks, parks in general, which I made a video about here. And we have a couple of cool museums like the Museum of Natural History, which is Sam Noble. And then we also have the Fred Jones Art Museum, which is free, so even better. There's also a lot of sports fields and a lot of organized sports activities for kids. Home prices in Norman are traditionally very affordable. So this is especially if you're moving in from out of state. Um, I hear this a lot from people moving in from California, Colorado, Washington state, and other places too. The average home price in Norman is around 220,000. And also people like it here because you can easily live in the country but still be in Norman city limits. So much of Norman is undeveloped and it's really quite easy to find a place that has that more country feel. All right, the first con I'm going to address is of course home prices. What I just said was a pro. Yes, homes are very affordable here in Norman. However, for the state of Oklahoma, they do seem a bit high. We often see that people would prefer to move to Moore, which is just north of Norman, or Noble, which is just south of Norman, um, or even out to Blanchard, Tuttle, and Newcastle, just because the prices are a little bit lower in those areas. So you can get more house for your money. People often complain about our lack of good shopping. 
So when I say lack, I mean they're comparing our shopping here on what we call the south side of Oklahoma City to the north side, which is north of I-40 and of course Edmond. So on the north side, they do have a Whole Foods and we do not here in Norman or anywhere on the south side. They also have a Trader Joe's and we don't have that either. We do have a very small, very old mall here in Norman. And on the north side, there are two malls that you can shop at that are a lot better than the one here. So Norman also doesn't have a great selection of restaurants. I'm not gonna lie, my husband and I do tend to go to Oklahoma City when we want um, some really good food. Now, we do eat out a lot here in Norman and you've probably seen some of my other foodie videos and if you haven't, they're listed in the description. Um, Norman is a great place, but overall, if you want good Chinese food or good Indian food or a great brunch spot or whatever, like we do have some here in Norman, but really you're gonna find most of them in Oklahoma City. Before I move on to my last con, I do have a relocation guide for Norman specifically that you can download, and once again, it's in the description. All right, the last con I'm gonna name is of course University. So game days can be really hectic here in Norman if you're not partaking in the activities meaning going to the game or tailgating. Students do flood the town as well during the school year and during the summer, they're all gone. Um, students very rarely stay in Norman over the summer. So we're talking about a pretty big influx of people that happens in August. So it can be pretty startling if you're used to the town over the summer being um, kind of that empty feeling that we like to say. And then of course in the fall, we have all these students rolling in, which is great for businesses, don't get me wrong. Download that relocation guide if you wish. It has some great info about Norman specifically. Once again, it's in the description. And I would suggest watching this video next.